Uh, today I'd like to go through um, how to install a Brave browser into Fossa uh, Pub and also configure it for uh, uh, daily use. But uh, before I do that, uh, I'd like to uh, make some uh, uh, changes into my uh, configuration so it make it easier for me to present this uh, video. So we'll open up a terminal and then get into Genie. And uh, Genie is a text editor, uh, but initially uh, uh, you'll just be a blank and uh, to uh, load up a, a, a file what you can do is get into uh, a rocks uh, file manager and then grab uh, whatever uh, file you want to edit and just drop it in do this major window and load it up so I also like to uh, show the, uh, have the uh, a sidebar when I'm working with Genie and to uh, I don't need this uh, JWMRC which I lo uh, loaded so I'll just remove it with the control W and the first modification is I like to uh, on a bash RC file um, I like to uh, just be able to click X to exit the terminal and similarly, if I just type in LA, it'll just spit out uh, results of uh, equivalent LS uh, space dash LAH and pipe symbol and less. As, so uh, we'll just make these changes and then we'll save it. And then uh, to see if it works, we'll get into the terminal and then uh, CLL. So yes indeed it does and I just type in X and then you'll get out of it. Okay so that works well. Next uh, uh, file that I like to, I like to modify is JWMRC dash uh, personal and that's the file that's here uh, on the root on the JWM and this is the file and this is the main con configuration file uh, for a particularly uh, to uh, modify keyboard combination so if we look at the file carefully uh, on, below here is the mouse configuration above that uh, uh, as a default it's uh, if you use a uh, ALT uh, key and a number then it goes to different desktops so this is desktop 2 and this is desktop 3 and so if I just you uh, set it so if I want to go to 3 I just push in 3 and it went to 3 as you can see here if I want to go back to 1 I want to go uh, just uh, ALT 1 but I, I'm used to uh, uh, controlling uh, going to the different uh, desktops with the control and shift so we'll make it CNS rather than uh, ALT and then further uh, furthermore I like to uh, be able to launch pale moon browser just with the Windows key which is actually super of Windows is actually equ equivalent to just n numerical 4 so Super W will uh, uh, trigger uh, Pale Moon uh, launch and then similarly Super R will uh, launch ROX uh, which is already uh, you can see it here uh, so Super R uh, typed and then Super E will uh, go straight into Genie so we'll make that and then we'll uh, uh, save it's already saved and then we'll get out of the with ALT4 and just to uh, reload the configuration file so the AWM restart and we'll close this uh, terminal window exit so we'll see okay so and let's see if it works so if I um, 
use control T so that yeah, works and then control R a uh, 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 super T I should say super R with uh, rocks file manager which is already so and then super uh, E for genie and uh, so genie opens right up so what we'll do is we'll go into Pale Moon and then we'll download the uh, Brave uh, Brave uh, uh, browser. So Pale Moon comes with a Fossa Pub, but to be able to install the uh, Brave browser, you have to go through this uh, website, which I will uh, uh, leave a link in the under description and then it will automatically will uh, want to uh, download the file so we'll save the file I think I already have it actually so I already have it downloaded okay so we'll close this and we'll open up con the uh, super R and rocks file manager and under downloads we have this uh, gray browser it's called a nightly user spot and the number and pet file. Pet file is very easy to use in Puppet Linux. You just click it to install the uh, file. So we'll click it. And then do I want to install the package? Yes. And we'll give it a minute. Following package has been uh, uh, successfully installed. Okay. So if I uh, 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 initiate the menu with F12 and go down to Internet, I see Brave Nightly. That's the uh, uh, file. So before I do that though, I want to get into the G again and then rather than uh, starting a pale moon now, I want to start Brave Nightly. I'll just erase this, this, this is uh, my reminder, so I'll just uh, control K uh, eliminates the line and then we'll save it and then now let's see if it uh, and then we'll go to uh, restart and now uh, the super w uh, should start that uh, brave let's see super w Now when you first uh, download uh, uh, Brave and install, uh, it, it's going to look much uh, like this. And some users may have difficulty downloading um, uh, and uh, finding where the file may be. If you can download it at all, let's uh, try to uh, look at example here puppy linux logo down uh, logo and then we go into images and let's say you want to download this file we'll just click view file and then right click save images now on this computer uh, it goes uh, fine you, it lets you download my the other computer laptop uh, does not uh, what, uh, for the users that experience uh, uh, difficulties you may need a small file and uh, uh, I'll show you uh, let's start uh, G uh, Genie and also uh, Rocks Filer so what I find very helpful is to go ahead and create a, a little uh, tiny file under startup a folder. If you right click on the rocks 
you'll find new and script. And then I've created brave download dot sh. So this is how I created it. Brave download sh and then create. So initially uh, it's not gonna have any so let's just bring that and put it here and I and I added this so the, when you do that uh, first first you just have uh, this uh, what's called a shebang and nothing else what you need to do is add these to this line here and then when you uh, and then restart the computer then anything you download in the brave will get into this under spot. The spot refers to a non-root user since Brave expects a non-root user to be uh, up, uh, to be uh, working with a browser. However, a Puppet Linux system uh, all uses uh, root as a regular user. So uh, what you need to do is under spot that anything you download through a Brave will get into this downloads folder here. So we just downloaded the Puppy logo uh, uh, JPG. So, so that's, that's what you need to know. So after you reboot, only for the people that notice difficulties with downloads, uh, you will uh, notice that it's here. So a quick way to always get into downloads is when you have Rocks Filer. Uh, open on the downloads folder spot downloads and you just uh, program it with control 2 for example and then go back to the uh, root and then make this control 1 then when you just uh, click on uh, 2 you'll get into the downloads and uh, likewise you just click 1 it just goes to the uh, home so this is uh, only for people that have difficulties with the downloading through Brave uh, browser. On daily use of a uh, uh, Brave browser, uh, uh, in fact any uh, a browser uh, or any application, uh, you may find yourself having a uh, a same application in multiple uh, desktops and uh, so let me try to demonstrate so I am presently on uh, desktop 3 and then I can certainly start uh, a Brave browser and I can only uh, also start uh, uh, Super W will also start another uh, copy of Brave browser and if I move to uh, uh, desktop one I can start another copy of a bra uh, bra uh, Brave browser so this is not very uh, 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 simplified uh, so there is a solution to uh, uh, having preventing multiple starting of this uh, uh, Brave uh, browser and it's a solution I would like to share with you and then I'll show you so let me just close all these Brave browsers and then we'll take a look at the uh, Genie. So this uh, elegant solution was provided by Mochi Mopel, M-O-C-H-I-M-O-P-P-E-L at the uh, Puppy Linux forum. And it uh, uses uh, a small application called WMCTRL, WMCTR, Window uh, Control. And, um, and almost all the Linux uh, uh, installation have this uh, as a default. So you don't need to actually uh, try to install it separately. So we'll take a look at this. Uh, we'll just open up. Uh, so this gets uh, under my applications bin. Since anything you put executable file here is in the path. So the what I decide to do is put it in what's called a sing, uh, single single sh sh. So here. But you can create the same just by right-clicking uh, on this desk uh, and then go into new 
and script. And then you put in the uh, name of the script, script, sh. And uh, since I've already uh, created it, I'll just uh, get out of this. And, uh, and then you want to take a look at this. Uh, so it actually, it's actually open. So when you first put it in Genie, uh, text editor, you will only have the first line. You have to add the rest of it. Uh, particularly these two lines. Uh, uh, my slower computer, uh, yeah, I have to put in a sleep uh, one and then put the rest of it. This one you don't, we don't need that. And uh, we'll just save it. So, whenever you start the browser with single SH, it will only put the uh, one copy of uh, Brave Browser in uh, 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 Desktop 1, even if you start somewhere else. So we'll just demonstrate it. So we'll just restart the WWM, restart. So just uh, because we changed the configuration and then We'll start single SH. And we noticed, uh, you notice that we're starting with uh, desktop 3, and let's see what happens. It, it, it goes to desktop 1, and then there is a Brave browser that's open. Okay. So let me just go back to the uh, Genie again. Now, we don't want to type in single sh every time we want to do this, so what we want to do is get, uh, get it into a keyboard combination file here. And then I've already uh, got this, so we're not going to start, uh, uh, so Super W is not going to start Brave Nightly, uh, but it's, we want to, we want to uh, pipe it, we want to divert the command into so removing these things will actually uh, make the keyboard active so key combination active so we'll just we'll just save it here so what it says is uh, when I push a super and W it start this uh, single SH so we'll just save it we get out of it and then we'll just refresh the whole configuration and then now when I, I'm in uh, virtual desktop 1 so let me move to virtual desktop 3 or 2 we'll just not make it 2 okay and then we'll go ahead and uh, click super w you notice it goes into 1 and let me move to uh, desktop 3 and then likewise I'm going to start uh, super w again and it puts me right back into uh, desktop 1 with a, where a single uh, uh, brow, uh, brave browser is so it prevents you from starting another uh, brave browser at any, at any place so I find that very helpful in uh, when I'm uh, browsing uh, many sites. So I hope this is all helpful to you. Thanks.